what is it? They said that it's a technical problem. So we are to wait for another two and a half hours. We are only hoping that the two and a half hours will truly work. But it's very frustrating. I think somebody is screaming out there. That may be a better picture for you to, to pick than my which is so gentle. It's hurting. I mean, because sometimes, as many of us, we've called people, so it's double jeopardy. You are wasting time here. People have driven maybe from home to wait for you in, uh, in Kumasi. And if you look at the productivity and the time, which unfortunately uh, you cannot really quantify, but it's very painful. But what can you do? Once you've chosen to travel, you just have to wait until they call you again. So I don't know uh, the regulators who are supposed to be monitoring this and be sanctioning them, whether they are really aware or uh, whether they, they, they are up to tax. Because when these things happen, you expect that uh, the regulators will be count counting the number of times that this is happening. Last week I was in Kumasi, the same thing, I was supposed to come to Accra. It was uh, a Sunday, I mean 10.30. I mean, finally, we left Kumasi around 2.30. And it's just, oh, we'll go at 11. Then they'll come, oh, we'll go at 12. So we're just moving it one hour, one hour. So it's like you cannot even decide to go and come. So it's becoming too many. And I think that the airlines should sit up because gradually the, the, the gains that we have made in terms of domestic flight, if they're not careful, we'll begin losing them because people begin losing confidence.